Good day, YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick comparison today between KDE Neon on the left and PC Linux OS on the right. Now, starting off, these are actually both KDE desktop or KDE Plasma desktop environments. As you might be able to, to notice from the, I guess, the, the start menu and the taskbar there, but that's where the similarities tend to end because uh, the KDE Neon is actually a little bit nicer in the way that it's sent out. So you've got a bit of color, you've got a bit of graphic design, you got your search menu. Whereas on the right hand side for PC Linux OS, a little bit, if not a lot more simplified. Kind of even more simplified than Windows XP. No, even Windows 95. In fact, that's that's what it is. It's Windows 95. But that doesn't stop you from getting all the apps that you want there. So you've got your Office apps, your internet apps, graphics apps, uh, sound and video apps too. That's quite good. Look, you've even got Spotify in this modern age. Great to see. And the same can be said for KDE Neon as well. All those Office and graphical and internet apps you could ever, ever need there too. If we were to have a look at the, well, a little bit more on the desk, uh, desktop, so basically the same, the way that it is set up. Otherwise, you've got your context menu, which works nice and easily there. Uh, let's move just a little bit across to the, the farm manager. Now, we are using Dolphin, which is quite common, if not always used with the KDE Plasma desktop environment, just to let you guys know that one there. So very much, uh, much of a muchness there. If we were to maybe go a little bit into, say, the uh, under the hood. Let's have a look under the hood and see what we can find here. So I need to go to console and uh, type in the following, which we will have, uh, oh, no, that is not working. Let's just try NeoFetch. No, okay, it's asking me to install it. But let's see, sudo apt install NeoFetch. Okay, well, let that do its thing for the moment and uh, finish off. And then we'll go to the right hand side here. So I'm having a little bit of an issue with the uh, the commands here today. Is it you name A? No. Hmm, okay. Well, basically, uh, what we've got here is what I want to get down to is the, the kernel. Okay, so 5.13 kernel on uh, KDE Neon, okay? And 5.15 kernel, although you can't actually quite see it here on PC Linux OS. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to quickly show you that there as well. Lots of time spent on that one indeed. And then last of all, but not least, is the CPU and RAM usage. So let's pull that puppy up there. Uh, so go up to install. Can you believe I haven't done this before the video? Okay, so 510 megabytes of RAM on boot up. Pretty good for PC Linux OS. And let's have a look on the other side for KDE Neon and see what we're dealing with. 630 megabytes, so much of a muchness, maybe a little bit more, something to always bear in mind, but very, very limited usage on the RAM side for PC Linux OS, yeah, probably because there's virtually no customization at all. So thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.